Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to see how to customize a ready-to-use template and design a beautiful offer email. So stay with me. All right guys, so let's suppose we are an e-commerce that need to send an offer email to its customer. What we are going to do today is to design a beautiful email starting from a ready-to-use template that you can find at bfree.io catalogs. In particular, we're gonna see how to customize this template, how to change images, text, button, color, and also how to add your own logo. Stay with me and let's get started. We are now in the B editor and as you can see on your left you have the template you choose and on your right you have the panel. In this panel you can see the content that are the elements of your email, the rows that are the sections of your email and you have the default one or the empty one and then you have the setting. In the setting you can choose the um, content area width so how big you want the width you can choose the background color and then the default font so the font that is going to be in all your email now we can start designing our email so let's start from the image to change an image just tap on the image go here change image and then here you have few options for the image. You can upload your image from your computer, you can import from your social media or Google Drive or Dropbox, and then you can search for free photos. I already upload my pictures and the one that I want to use now is this one. So insert, as you can see, it's too big for me. Going to apply effect and more and I can crop it. So I can crop, make it bigger, or I can choose one of the default sites here. Apply and then save it. I'm going to do the same with the other three pictures. With the logo, we can do the same action. to be for me I'm gonna make it smaller okay and now I'm going to change the button that it's right here so tap on the button I want to make the background of the button darker so I'm gonna go here then I need to change the text color as well so white and here you can change the border radius so you can make it square if you want I like it more we can now change the text so to change the text just tap on the text here you see you have the font family you can change the sides and here you can change the color as well we can now change the price and change the background color as well to change the background color tap on the row and here you go on the second column and you can change the color so i personally don't need this row i can delete it and this one too i want to keep it simple so now we can change all the text and the button as well here
For the button, if you don't want the background color but you just want the border, just select the white or the transparent background and then go down and select the border. So darker and give the stroke. Then the border radius square and the text color darker. You can do the same for the other. Nice. So I personally don't need this. I want to show you how to add social media icons. So first of all, I'm going to change the color of this and make it darker. Then I'm going to delete this row and this row as well. Now we have this small space. We can add our content. So let's add the social media icons. Drag it here. When you tap, you can modify everything. So I'm gonna change the color, this one, and here you can delete or you can add your own icon. Let's go on the icon spacing. Let's make it a little bit bigger, okay. And now we can insert some text too. So here. And we can write follow us on social media. Let's make it bigger and in the center. We can modify it from the padding. So tap on the content, padding, more option. So here and also a bit on the bottom. Fine. Now we have our email. We can just delete this and that's it. Everything is fine. The only thing that I want to change is the background of the email. So go on setting, background color. So you can change the background color from here or you can add the HTML code. Nice, perfect. Now I like it. So we can save it. We can add the name, some tag and a description as well. Save it. Done. And now you have your message in your project. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you find it useful and if you did do not forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna release video every week so stay with us and see you next time. Bye, ciao!